Hello guys, welcome to the final episode of the MCAT series. So, since the uploads are a little bit scattered, let me update you on what happened. So where I left you guys, I came back from Philly here. I spent a week in Lynchburg and then went back to Philly again and then came back to Lynchburg to really focus in on studying that I been missing like I kind of was filling in holes as well as practice doing a lot of practice problems and I feel like this week in particular was a week where I was like okay like I have all the information I need I need to practice and I think that's what made the biggest difference during this week and my overall MCAT score a lot of the solid studying I did this week really really helped so let's get into it Hello guys, I'm sorry for not, ooh, my hair is sticking up. I'm sorry for not consistently updating you every single day like I used to, but it has gotten busy. It has gotten way busier than I thought it will get. And that is because it is currently, let me see what day it is. I think it's the 9th. Yes, it's the 9th. So it is August 9th. I know. I know, I literally have less than 20 days to my exam, and that is why I have not been consistently vlogging, because I have been studying a lot, just because my practice exam scores are not where I need them to be, and I realized that's because I wasn't doing enough practice problems. I was just reading and doing the exams, but I've incorporated so much more practice problems into my studying routine that I think that this practice exam is going to go much more better than the other ones the last one that i did was a 499 that was a blueprint one and then the other one that i did was the amc one and that was 495 i believe strongly today that we are going to go get over the 500 mark because i have been really putting in a lot of effort on my weak areas like psych and soch and physics and chem and even bio, so like just everything. I've just been studying everything this whole entire week. And I think I've gotten down the method of how to answer MCAT-like questions. So with that being said, I'm heading over to the library today to take my third AMC practice exam. And I am excited to see what my score will be. And it is currently nine something. I plan to take it earlier, but something's, something's happened and I went, to sleep late okay but i will show you the aftermath and um yeah stick around see ya so i got in the study room around 9 a.m i set up all my stuff and i took my practice exam so this is just some footage of me setting up my stuff to start my practice exam I didn't get above a 500, but I increased my score by four points, so I'm proud of myself. I worked hard to get that score. After that exam, I was pretty upset with myself, but after reflecting back on that moment, it's okay because I studied really hard for that practice exam I took, and this journey was pretty hard mentally, and it's good to congratulate yourself for your little improvements and not the overall arching goal all the time because that can feel a little bit defeating. So I just want to encourage you guys, if y'all are studying for the MCAT, it's okay to not get a score you thought you were going to on your practice exam. Hello guys and welcome back to another clip of this MCAT series. So today is my birthday, it's August 12th. And we're dressed and ready to go out because obviously we're going to go celebrate my birthday. So we're going to go out for brunch and get our nails done and go to the mall. And then 
we're gonna continue studying for this MCAT, okay? So I just wanna encourage you guys, if you guys feel like you can't celebrate important moments in your life because of this exam, throw that idea out the window, okay? And go celebrate your life, okay? Alrighty, see you guys in the next clip. It's my birthday. Look at how gorgeous she looks. I what the heck? Material girl. She is a material girl. <laughs> Hello everyone. She's a material girl. I'm just what? kidding. Hi guys. And what? Emma's older sister. Welcome to her vlog. I have vlog camera. <laughs> The birthday festivities are over and it's time for me to head over to the library to get some studying done. But first, I need some espresso. Even though I had coffee earlier, I don't know. I feel like after you go out and then you come back in, you're just like wiped. So, <laughs> I need some coffee. Hey guys, I am currently in a study room right now, so it is officially like six more days to my exam. It is Thursday, and my exam is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. I'm currently in a study room studying for it right now, going over the reproductive system. I've done so many practice exams. I've done six practice exams. Tomorrow is supposed to be my last practice exam. You guys are probably wondering why the uploads are so far apart, and that is because towards the end of the process, I decided not to be uploading every single week. I just want to talk about a few changes that I would have made to my MCAT studying process to make it go a little bit smoother. And a lot of people told me this, but I didn't really realize until I was doing practice problems that, oh my gosh, like I should have done something differently. I'm going to tell you guys this because hopefully you guys still have some time in your studying process to change it. I was doing a lot of reading, get a lot of information in, but I didn't really set and process ways to keep this information in, ways to practice new information. I would say for physics and psych and sociology, I wish I would have started practicing the information I had early on with UWorld. And um, I'm doing it now, but I wish I gave myself at least like a month and a half to really sit down and do practice problems and to go over them because even though there is a lot of information when you go through practice you'll be able to find out what your weak spots are and to be able to make like flashcards on Anki or Quizlet or whatever to be able to cover up your weak spots but I did not do that early enough. I started doing it like I guess three weeks out of my exam like consistently. I was doing UWorld probably like two months out but I was consistently doing you all probably like three and a half weeks out of the exam date and that is great that I'm doing it but I do understand why people would like to keep their content reviewing for like a month and a half and then do practice problems for another month and a half and I totally agree with that studying method especially with physics and sociology and even honestly everything is just practice I'm realizing that now and I'm covering some um, holes in my studying agenda and it's panning out. I've been increasing my score like four points every single week I've been practicing. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to go over your practice tests really well and go over your U world really well and make flashcards. Make time to use your flashcards and actually like know the information and know it well enough. Just know like the overarching processes. Yes, you do need all your formulas for physics. You just have to sit down and memorize it. I think with math, with equations, having just a lot of them, you just need to use them to memorize them. Just use them. With cars, I really can't give you that much information with cars because this has been a journey for me. Doing too many passages a day is not the best for me. For other people it might be, but for me, it's not the vibe. So that is my tip for you guys, and I hope that is helpful for some of you guys. And I'm gonna continue studying because again, I have six days. To be honest, I'm just excited to get this exam over and done with.
Hello guys, I just came on here to do my score reveal. The long awaited score reveal is here. So, I got my MCAT score back. I was really nervous, of course, and I lost the footage for it, so here I am doing it. So I got a 503. The average on the MCAT is a 500. So I got a 503, meaning that I scored two points above average. The internet makes it seem like these scores are not good, but these scores are what people are getting every single day on the MCAT. And according to the AEMC, average accepted MCAT score that matriculate into an MD program is a 511. So my 503 will get me where I need to be. Or similar to me, apply with it. And I'm excited, so stay tuned with me as I get my personal statement ready and all my other application letters that I need so I hope you guys stay tuned for more videos and thank you guys for coming on this journey with me